drum can be played, just like any other instrument, using a connected control surface or with clips in the door. However, you can also create patterns of up to 8 bars in length using the expanded sequencer section. Once turned on with the power switch, samples are sequenced in the standard way by selecting one and then adding steps in the desired positions in the bar. The height of a step relates to its volume. And the roll setting below a step allows you to have up to four individual notes within that step to create faster rhythms. The switches to the right give you options for clearing a sample's pattern or randomizing it, as well as nudging steps left or right and shifting the timing of steps to make them earlier or later. Having a slightly later timing with a bit of swing is a nice way of creating a more natural feel with a hat pattern. Or you could layer up some claps and use timing to spread them out. Maybe adding some panning for extra width too. The pattern switches to the left of the sequencer provide slots for eight independent one bar patterns. So to copy pattern A into B now, I click on A to select it, then click copy followed by B. The pattern goes green to confirm that it's been copied across. Then I could add that snare roll back in to the end of pattern B. Then if I want to alternate between A and B to create a combined two bar pattern, I just turn on the pattern order switch and set the slider to just include A and B. The slider is completely flexible though, and each space can be set to any of the eight patterns. So I could have pattern A repeat three times, and then have pattern B just once at the end, and then adjust the slider range to make that four bar pattern with A and B. Going up to eight bars now, I'll copy the pattern over to C, and then change up a few more of the samples. And I'll copy that to D as well. Change up a few bits there too. Then I'll set the pattern order to A, B, A, C. And then A, B, A, D to give us eight bars in total. And if I want to make changes to an individual pattern, I just click on it, which turns the pattern slider off, so it just loops that single pattern. Then when I'm done making changes, I just flip it back on to play the eight bars in full once again. Another great new feature with this version is the ability to switch patterns using MIDI notes. This can be done with a connected keyboard using MIDI notes C3 upwards. Or you can draw notes into the piano roll to trigger them instead. Patterns don't re-trigger when a note is received, but pick up in the relevant position of that bar. So it's perfect for mixing up patterns to keep it sounding fresh. And if you want to insert silence at any point, MIDI note B2 stops the sequencer. Finally, patterns are erased by first hitting the clear button and then clicking on the pattern switch to erase its sequencer settings. Note that this deletes settings for all pads, not just the selected pad, as with the clear switch on the right.